was looking at this film, I went back and looked at the jazz musicians, but Powell, who was also treated, you know, you know, in terms of certain type of treatment, it seems to be something that people were dealing with back then, and they saw that you were depressed, or you were bipolar, um, you would be treated this way. And a lot of people were shells after that treatment. One person who was sort of diagnosed with being bipolar, his family insisted that he not be treated that way, was the great musician Thelonious Monk. When I just look at, when you see these individuals, how they become a shell of themselves uh, afterwards, um, I go back and look at this type of treatment. The other thing which is sort of downplayed in this film is that um, there was many times when Bob Parker was arrested. Like somebody said he was arrested 34 times in one year. Um, one of the things that's not mentioned is that many of the times that he was arrested, he was also beaten. Talk about this actual physical assault. Um, some of that also can be tied into the fact that it is mentioned here that his, his wife was girlfriend for a wife. Okay, you could probably today, um, and, I, and I just interviewed her several months ago, Hedy Jones, who was the wife of, uh, of Mary Baraka Leroy Jones. And if you look at the interracial marriage, which was illegal in some states in the 50s, uh, even if you had a little sort of community, like say in Greenwich Village or in San Francisco, it still was one in which you, it, it was not, it was frowned upon. Mm -hmm. and, and when you look at these types of situations in terms of sensitive individuals, um, that affects their work. And when you go back and look at how this film sort of uh, flips um, Bob Hoffman's life, where you see his life as a writer first, and then you see his political activity second, you realize that this individual was probably very defiant in terms of when he was young. And also there was an ideology behind it. And that I think has a lot to do with uh, how he's treated. Um, I'll just uh, end my comments in terms of how I had viewed um, Kaufman's work through my own work in terms of back in 1994, um, I produced this book, um, In Search of Color Everywhere, um, an anthology of um, African-American writers. Um, this is like sort of the one book. Um, when I was growing up in the South Bronx, um, I didn't have access to um, African-American poetry. And when given the opportunity to um, put an anthology together, uh, I decided I would try to put all of the writers' signature poems in one book, right? And then I expanded it into the oral tradition. So there's, there's things in here, there's, there's songs in here, you know, Say it loud, black and proud, <laughs> type of it's classic. Um, only thing that, and then there were writers who would say, Well, Ethelbert, you didn't include me in here. And I said, Well, you know, I didn't even include Smokey Robinson, my girl, so you know. 